There's no evidence right now that six months after a regenerative procedure with postnatal stem cells that that individual's DNA would be reflective of the foreign component that was administered. So while we are aware that uh, stem cells uh, have um, an alternative genome to the patient's own genome, uh, we have no evidence at this point. Uh, in fact, we have evidence to the contrary. Uh, no evidence that there is any um, engraftment of that foreign genome into the patient. And in fact, we've had many thousands of uh, administrations of the product with no evidence of, of a foreign genome representing itself or being reflected uh, later downstream in the patient care. Does that then portray a situation where someone receives a procedure with postnatal um, stem cells and then it's really more of their own body harnessing its own regenerative capability as a reaction to those stem cell being applied. That would be my hypothesis at this point based on all the data that we have. Um, I do believe that, uh, that the patient um, is uh, benefiting from the cells in a way that's non-engrafting, uh, where the genome is not actually being uh, overtaken by a foreign genome. In fact, uh, we believe that the, uh, the cells are secreting growth factors and various uh, molecules that will help draw that patient's own machinery, regenerative machinery, to the, to the wound or to the area that needs regeneration.